right now. I'm going to use words. I'm not sure how great I am at those words, but we talk about facts. We, we build financial plans about probability of success. And one of those things that we do is we use academic portfolios. We use portfolios that are based on fact. We harvest premiums that are proven that long term they exist and you can harvest them with a cost less than they should bring to you. And a lot of people are trying to intermingle those, those, those words that, that yes, we believe in allocation, we believe in this, but we're going to time the market. We're going to get out of the market before the market goes down. We're going to do something that no one can do. No one knows what's going to happen in the market Monday. It's kind of like football games. Saturday, nobody really knows what the San Francisco 49ers uh, coach should do. But Monday, everybody knows what he should have done. Okay? We're Monday, we're always brilliant on Monday, not so smart on Saturday. That's why he's paid millions and you aren't. And the stock market, same thing, even worse. Because there's so many unknown things. It's the unknown things that we don't know. It's the unknown things that are going to happen Monday that the stock market hasn't priced in. But we know value, small cap, uh, equity, profitability. Those are premiums we can harvest. Those are things we can academically build a portfolio around and harvest long term. The rest of it, what's going to happen Monday? Yes, it will affect the market. There are things out there, but 94% of returns are based on allocation, based on placement. That's where we should focus. Not on the stories, not on the words that sound exciting or sound the same, but are different. So I tell you, if you want probability of success in your financial circumstances, Build them around fact-based portfolios. And no one that's trying to predict or tell you that they're smart enough to tell you what's gonna happen Monday, because nobody can.